meet the Doomlands judge, but I made it a little bit better. If you're wondering how I did that, it's pretty self-explanatory. I removed the air restrictor and the dart posts. No spring upgrades, no extra lubricant. This blaster just genuinely has been limited to its minimum potential by Hasbro out of the box. The blaster now hits mid 70s to low 80s with three half length darts, or the same ranges that it got before with six half length darts. Six darts per shot. And this is a 10 shot shotgun. That's honestly kind of overpowered. And just to finish things off, I gave it a paint job that I'm actually really, really happy with and came out really, really good considering I spray painted it and then I used Sharpie for the details, which people criticize me if you want, but I actually like using Sharpie for details. It is way easier to work with than trying to use enamel paints, which are a nightmare and a half. If you have a not so keen eye, you'll also notice that I took off the back sling point. This was a mistake. It's still supposed to be there, but I forgot to put it in when I put the blaster back together. That was me being stupid and being too lazy to go back and fix it because I had to fight with this thing to the death because for some reason it just said no every time I would try and use it until I figured out that the gear rack was mounted in incorrectly. I also loosened the mechanism that turns the cylinder just a little bit, so now you can actually turn it without having to fire the blaster, which is a really good thing because without an air restrictor in it, you should not be dry firing but how did I even get this thing open because from everything that anybody's seen online this blaster is virtually impossible to open the answer long screwdrivers that's about it there are three screws hidden behind this shield which are actually accessible due to the vent ports on the outside of the shell you can actually see them in there all you need is a screwdriver long enough to reach down in there and access those screws and the blaster comes off minus one very annoying caveat this piece right up here used to be transparent. I spray painted it black and it does not want you to open this blaster. You will have to pry at it and you will have to probably break some pieces of it just to get it open. And then if you, God forbid, want to put it back together, you will have to break off almost all of the clips that hold this thing down, minus the one in the very front and the one in the very back. So you can lever it in and then push it down and it should snap right in. I had to remove almost all the clips to get it to work, but because it is just kind of an extra piece, it doesn't really matter, it's sturdy enough. First, with three half-length darts per barrel. This does give the best performance, however, you have to ramrod the darts into the bottom of the barrels each time you put one in, so it is a little bit annoying. Next, with three full lengths per barrel. Not quite as good performance, but still better than it used to be. Finally, the hardest to load, but arguably the most fun, six half darts per barrel. It also has the worst performance, but this is just too fun. <laughs> There's so many darts on the floor. This blaster, within about three days, has gone from being the annoying blaster in my collection that sits in the ugly drawer down there, to probably being one of my favorite blasters to play with ever. It is so unreasonably fun using this thing now, and I feel bad for it because it just hasn't been able to live up to its full potential by anybody's standards. I mean, there are no mods for this thing I have seen online, period. My mod here is the only time I've ever seen somebody open, close this thing, and do something to it to make it better than it originally was. The saddest part is that you can't even get these anymore. They discontinued them and they are horrifically expensive online, which just gives me more reason to keep this one as long as I live. My word of advice in the future, if you do happen to find a judge and you want to modify it, Please make sure you have a lot of time on your hands. This thing is really annoying to do anything with, but in my opinion, worth every second you spend working on it. Thanks for watching. Bye.